Finally, 4th Regiment is done. Excuse me, they're 47th Regiment now. I'll explain later. But I finished them, and I'm really excited. A lot of hours went into it. There's plenty of places I can get better on the next batch. Like the drums upside down. <laughs> but overall, this is my first Napoleonics unit, and I'm really stoked about them. Today I had to figure out how I wanted to base them. That was my task. So I played around a little bit. I figured out a formation that I was cool with. Kind of put them in a couple different formations and then committed to it and got them based up. And now I'm super stoked about it. And I wanted to share a video of how I based my line infantry. So I used Battlemire and Sterling Mud and I made a little mix. Use some Tuft, Highland, Swamp, whatever, some grass. Both glues for the Tuft and other things. Some Tupperware to make a mix, because we're going to make like a dirt mix. With the Battleground. And I got some dirt flock that we're going to put in our little European mud mix. And then you're going to need some brushes that you're, you feel good banging up, you don't care about. So time to get situated here. Make sure you got room to work, or at least that's where I need a neat workspace. And I'm gonna use my little mud mix and just paint the base. Paint around them, paint the bases of the models nice and thoroughly. My hand is blocking it, but I'm, I'm just going ahead and seasoning the edge with the like grass dirt mix that we made with all those components I listed earlier. And hit the edge a little bit, you know? Tighten it up. And just repeat on the other side. And I like to do one side and then do the other side because the, the Sterling Mud Mix that I made tends to dry up pretty quick. And you can use it as an adhesive if you move quick. You don't have to use a whole lot of glue. But if you're worried about it, drying up too quick you can add a little bit of glue and water mix into your mud mix and then you have a mud glue mix that was kind of I kind of made that up today season from above so it's you know spreads evenly also they are the 47th now because I put the 47th flag on there which looks better so they used to be the fourth and now they're the 47th so let's just say that they after a big battle they joined together and now some members from the fourth are in the 47th maybe just knock off the excess you know and just check out your work maybe tighten the edges up here if that's something you want to do if it bothers you maybe grab a white q-tip and hit the edges here like I did. This may be strange music for Napoleonics, but this music is cool and it sounds dope. So I'm gonna use it. And it's time to admire our work. I'm pretty happy with how this came out, being it's like my first Napoleonic unit. I think they look pretty sweet. There's plenty of areas that I wanna get better at on the next batch, but I had a really really awesome time painting these they were super challenging but i'm a huge fan of the napoleonic era and i had a blast and i think it looks pretty good like i said it's like a wet european ground as you can see you know some of my bases maybe aren't completely covered but they're going into a big army and i think it'll look good for the most part so i'm happy good enough for me also, check out this bloody mud puddle that I made. Bloody mud is a thing I'm gonna keep doing. And anyways, the 47th Regiment's complete. Thanks for watching this. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on Napoleonics.